Hi, I'm Marian Gorban, and today I want to talk about how to boost the immune system naturally and what are the factors that decrease the defense powers of our immune system. Today we'll talk about the immune system and what we should do if a person gets sick often and cools often. Especially this theme is present at the end of a winter and the beginning of a spring because during this period the seasonal immunity decrease appears. Why is this happening? 1. The weather and the lack of sun. We get tired of the bad weather outside. Another reason is that our body does not reach the sun. The sun in normal quantities gives us joy, good mood and is natural stimulator of the immune system. That is why many of us take vacation in sunny places. It is a natural way to give a boost to our immune defenses. 2. The poor mood. The key reasons for lowering immunity are bad mood, stress and depression. These factors such as stress, depression and poor mood cause high doses of stress hormones called corticosteroids to be released into the bloodstream. And high doses of these hormones in the blood lead to decreased immunity. This is what many doctors and especially immunologists know. Throughout the history of mankind, there were many infections and epidemics, but not all people became ill, and not all who became ill died. This is because some people panic and are very busy with the bad news. This causes people's immunity to drop dramatically. However, if you make your life interesting and do not worry too much about the sad news from the TV, then the immune system remains strong. Interesting research was done by two doctors from the United States. They took observations of several families, about 100 people, over the course of a year. These people were prone to various diseases and infections such as influenza, colds and viral infections after periods of stress, prolonged periods of concern or unpleasant events. In contrast to this, the joys and pleasurable events lead to the emission of the hormones of happiness, endorphins, into the blood flow which causes a lifting of the immunity. That is why it is very important to organize our lives in such a way in order to be interesting with many joys and happy moments. It is also necessary to be in any situation a positive and an optimistic person. This will make us permanently have a high level of the immune system. In conclusion, if you are very often prone to colds and infections, you have to analyze your life. And if you find an occupation that will bring you joy and soul satisfaction, then you'll see that your health will change for the better because the immune system will be stronger. 3. The lack of movement. Another factor that leads to decreased immunity is a lifestyle with little exercise. So, if you want strong immunity, you have to move. You have to take outdoor walks run for those who can do it and the health allows. You can practice sports such as skiing, skating, swimming, medical gymnastics. But you need to know an important thing that excessive movement or excessive exercise leads to decreased immunity. This is observed in performance athletes. So sports practice must be done without overloading the body. 4. Chronic sleep insufficiency Lack of sufficient sleep is also a fundamental cause that leads to decreased immunity. The World Medical Association Assembly has discussed the problem of sleep and the immune system and reached the conclusion that insufficient sleep, meaning a sleep less than 6 hours per 24, leads to the decrease of immune cells called leukocytes. These cells are directly responsible for the destruction of the pathogens in the human organisms. So, it is important to have a sleep regime and sleep well, no less than 6 hours per day. But if you do not have the opportunity to sleep these hours during the night, you can compensate this with little sleep during the day, 
of 30 or 40 minutes. This will lead to the restoration of the immune cells called leukocytes back to normal. 5. Frequent use of drugs and antibiotics. Another factor that leads to decreased immunity is the receipt of some medicines and the frequent use of antibiotics. When a person who often gets colds or has viral infections takes often these antibiotics and medicines, then he decreases his natural protection capacity. So, the often use of antibiotics leads to decreased immunity and this should be known. 6. The deficiency of vitamins B and microelements zinc and selenium. Make use of these foods that contain high portions of these vitamins and microelements as much as possible and eat wholemeal bread. Some top sources of B vitamins include meat, especially liver, seafood, poultry, eggs, dairy products, legumes, leafy greens, seeds, whole grain breakfast cereals. Top foods that contain zinc and selenium are pumpkin, lentils, sunflower seeds, walnuts, red meat, lamb, eggs and salmon. 7. Excessive consumption of coffee. Research has also shown that people who consume a lot of coffee, more than two or three coffees a day, also have a low immunity. 8. Smoking. The persons who smoke more than 10 cigarettes per 24 hours have problems with a weakened immune system as well. 9. Excessive consumption of sweets. People who consume many sweets tend to have low immunity due to the fact that carbohydrates contained in a sugar and sugar products support an environment favorable to the development of different pathogens starting with bacteria and ending with candida. Factors that strengthen the immune system. 1. Tempering the body with cold water. Cold exposure training doesn't have to be extreme for at the beginning. In fact, since it's a conditioning process, tempering, in the beginning it is better done in small incremental doses. You can start simply by turning the water in the shower to cold for 30 seconds and slowly increasing exposure for up to 5 or 10 minutes. You don't have to be unprepared to get under the ice because you can get pneumonia. 2. We must not forget to drink about 2 liters of clean water per day. Water is very important for removing toxins from the organism. Here, when we talk about water, we mean clean water with little mineralization. Ideally, it should be distilled. 3. Use of bee products. For the strengthening of immune system, we can use also honey. The pollen of flowers is very beneficial for us because it gives the body an important contribution of minerals and vitamins. Propolis is also a valuable product for the body that strengthens the immune system. Let's talk about plants that actually strengthen the immune system. In the first place is Aloe Barbadensis or Aloe Vera. We can easily find Aloe Vera products in trade like Aloe Syrup, Aloe Juice or Aloe Extract. Blueberry Leaf Another plant that has properties for improving the immune system is blueberry. It is good to dry blueberry leaves and make an infusion out of them. You can have a healing course of two or three weeks using this blueberry tea. Such courses should be done three times a year. Chamomile Another plant that has immunostimulatory properties is chamomile. It is good to drink this tea every day for a month. Such remedies are not only good for strengthening the immune system, but also for better functioning of the digestive system, liver and stomach. Garlic. Garlic is an antimicrobial and stimulant of immune system. This plant has in its composition a special substance called allicin. This substance is a natural antibiotic 
known for its ability to fight viruses, microbes, bacteria, and candida. Eating raw garlic helps your blood system as well. You will ask if eating raw garlic permanently would cause an unpleasant odor. In order to get rid of garlic's unpleasant smell, you can eat an apple or two after that. Ginseng. There is also another plant that is stimulating immunity, and this is ginseng. But this plant has contraindications. These plants act as an irritant to certain people. If you are an emotional person or have suffered from neurosis, then these plants will not act as they should. Although the side effects of ginseng are rare and mild, when an excessive dose has been consumed, it is possible to suffer some symptoms such as insomnia, restlessness, and agitation, as well as hypersensitivity to the substance. Therefore, if you find certain products of this plant, it is good to read the prospect and see the contraindications. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video and the explanations given. Please give me a thumb up, yeah, and uh, this will motivate me a lot to uh, to create another videos and another tips uh, which will help your immune system to be uh, prepared for any uh, trouble. Also, please comment down below what do you think about and make sure to subscribe for future videos. Thank you very much. With you was Marian Gorban. Until next time, stay healthy.